Hey, you guys, what's up? Thank you for joining me. I'm going to get started right away. Um, so if you jump on here while I am live, make sure you, uh, you know, hit the like button, show me some hearts, whatever, just so that I know I am not talking to myself. So I am really glad that you guys are in this group. And um, I feel very honored to be able to present to you tonight because um, this coaching job that I have, I actually take very, very seriously. And I'm super um, proud uh, that I have the opportunity to do that, to do this. And I wanted to be able to share with you guys. So if you didn't see my little introduction um, about who I am, my name is Sarah Gunther. I live in British Columbia, Canada, and um, it's actually not very cold today. So in case you believe that every everybody in Canada is cold, it's not true. <laughs> it's actually really beautiful where I'm at. And I actually moved from British Columbia about three years ago from Ontario. So we made a cross country trip uh, away from family, friends, everybody we knew and settled in British Columbia. And we absolutely love it. There's many mountains, it's West Coast, in case you're not sure where it's at, uh, many mountains, lakes, the ocean, everything. We've got it all. So I'm really happy to be here. I am a full time special education assistant teacher, as well as a coach. And I want to talk about how I fit those things together and um, how that works because some of you might have a job right now and you could be um, in this group and thinking I don't really want to quit my job to coach necessarily or um, I'd like to work part-time and coach whatever that is for you you know that's totally up to you but I want to tell you that there is a way to actually do both and um, my job I work from 8.15 in the morning till 3.15 every day, Monday through Friday. So I do have a full-time job. And then I also have three children, ages 16, 14, and 11. Don't have any family out here, like I said. So everything is on myself and my husband to uh, take care of it. So I have some notes jotted down that I want to talk to you guys about. So when I first started coaching uh, when I was introduced to the opportunity the reason why I started is because I actually needed to lose weight um, I need to find myself again I didn't know who I was I had been doing so much for so many other people and then just to kind of stop doing things for myself and I kind of hit rock bottom I would say at that point and I just needed to do something for me and um, I reached out to uh, somebody, her name is Rosa Friesen, she's an amazing coach, and I reached out to her and I said, I kind of, I really need help. And she got me started and she said, I think you'd be really great at coaching. Um, if anything, do it for the discount. And I said, okay, that's cool. I need discounts. I have no money. I was actually in school full time to be a special education assistant teacher. So um, it's not like... I had money flowing and I was also working, but that money was that I was working at the time was going to pay my college tuition. <laughs> so um, when I started and started coaching, I honestly fell in love with it. And it's this community aspect that we have and the mentorship that I get to be a part of and living this healthy lifestyle. If you saw my photo, my before and after, I've lost 28 pounds through beach body programs as well as being on Shakeology for every day for almost two years now and it just saved me and so as I started coaching and really getting into it and loving it I was like I just finished college and I spent a lot of money to get the diploma did I waste my money? Did I, what did I do? It kind of like those thoughts went through my head. And then I found out more and more coaches, actually, there are coaches that do work and do coach at the same time. And I was like, you know what? That's where it's going to be for me because I love working with children with special needs. My oldest has autism and that is really where my heart is. But I also love the mentorship and uh, the community and everything else that coaching brings. So I'm really, really happy that I can do both. And I do. And so what I do, um, I have to be very, very blinders on 
like working straight ahead when it comes to my coaching business because I can get distracted easily and because I am working full time, I don't have that luxury of like being home for eight hours a day to work on my coaching business. So when I'm I'm working my coaching business outside of my job. I am laser focused. I have to be. So I'm using timers. Um, I do a time blocking system where I took how many hours in a day. There are 24 hours. Took just subtracted my sleep from that. Subtracted my workout time because working out is very, very important to me. I subtracted making dinners every day, making lunches every day, um, sitting down with the family for dinner, family time. And I found out, okay, how many hours do I have left in a day? And you'd be surprised when you do that little exercise, you'd be surprised to find how much time you actually had. I had like three hours. I was like, oh, <laughs> I could totally do this. And that's outside of family time too, right? So that's what I did. I found my time blocks and I was very intentional about what I was going to work on at what time. And there are some things that I give up. Uh, I did give up watching TV. And the reason was because I have such a strong why as to why I'm doing this. And um, because I love it and I can see the opportunity, I am living out this opportunity and having this extra income every month. Our family's going on a two week vacation uh, to California. We're doing a massive road trip and we're going to be gone for 14 days and it's paid for because I'm doing this business. So I'm living out that opportunity. I see that and I have my why. So when I want to just sit and veg and do nothing for two, three hours at a time, I think, it does this get me closer to where I want to be? No, it does not. So it's not top priority. Netflix is not top priority, as fun as it would be. But really, at the end of the day, it doesn't get me anywhere, right? So I give up Netflix. Um, but what I do, um, I do typically kind of work in pockets and stuff like that. And um, I'm also can multitask a little bit and like doing something mindless while working on my coaching business. So I'll sit in uh, bed with my husband at night and we'll watch like a show um, on the TV while I have my laptop and I'm just like doing design or something like I'm creating um, a picture or something like that, like something that I don't really have to put a lot of effort into, uh, but I'm still with my husband and still doing that. So I'll do things like that. When I get up in the morning and I get ready and I'm doing my makeup, I actually listen to audiobooks for my personal development because I always want to grow as a person. I just really don't want to be a jerk as a human, right? So I'm like, no, I need to be better. <laughs> so I do that. So while I'm doing my makeup, I'm listening to that. So I am finding pockets throughout my day to do things. So at work, I actually don't have long lunch breaks or even, you know, like a recess break. Um, I have 15 minutes for one and then 25 for the next. So it's not a lot of time. But I do have things that I do every day with my business that only take five or 10 minutes. That is when I do that. I quickly get that done and then I still have time to have my lunch. So I have found pockets throughout my day. Um, to be able to do things like that. Um, I also, on the weekends is when I have a lot of extra time because I'm not working. And so I will then take things from my business that take a little bit more time, a lot of creativity and stuff like that because I love to be creative. <laughs> and running my boot camps, my online boot camps. So I'll spend time getting that stuff ready. I just make sure I'm scheduling everything, planning ahead for everything. My Sundays are my brain dumps. So I dump out everything that needs to be done for the week. I choose a top three things that have to be done. They're top priority. I highlight them. I get those things done. So I'm just planning. I'm scheduling and I'm being very um, consistent with my time and blinders on getting to work. So it can be done 100%. Um, and the income that I've earned like I said, has helped our family be able to go on vacations. I've earned trips. I'm going to Mexico um, that I've earned through Beachbody because of this. And just having that extra money. And I typically, you know, I should tell you guys that Beachbody doesn't guarantee any level of success or income or anything like that. It all depends on your hard work. That's a little disclaimer there. But I typically bring in between $1,200 and $1,500 a month. And I'm still working my full-time job. So the opportunity is there. It is happening for me. And I want to be able to see it happening for you guys as well. Uh, and so if you are working full-time or working part-time, please know 
that you can do both and you can love both. So that is all I have for um, tonight. Thank you guys again for joining. And um, if you have any questions or anything about what, how I do all this or any kind of time blocking questions, post them below and I will answer them. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.